seeing everybody and walking with a whole group of people that have beat it or that are in the process of beating it, it was a, a, an intimate connection that you don't understand until you're there. And I remember just uh, one morning, sorry, <laughs> even six, even seven years, it's just like, I just remember one morning waking up at like five in the morning and, I, and just sitting up and I'm just thinking, guys, I, I, something's not right. It was two rounds of chemo. There was a generic chop regimen that a lot of lymphoma patients get on one day and then it was followed up by a relatively new drug the next day. And I did that for, um, for seven months and I went, you know, every four weeks I would do this. And then I was, then depending on how I did, then it was followed by a month of radiation. I was taking my last chemo treatment and the, the nurse coming over and Renee holding the scans up and said, listen, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but it looks like you, you're clear. I hear these, well, I'm going through cancer, I'm not a survivor yet. Well, survivor is somebody that's actively fighting it and is still alive today. Really the meaning of survivorship is trying to give back. Relay, I think, brings everything together, obviously to raise money provide for all the different services, but uh, it, is a, it is a huge outlet for everybody that comes. It's a huge organization now that, that, that I, we call family. That lap was incredible, because that's when I actually thought, wow, I actually, I actually beat the thing.